hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is liz and in today's video i'm going to show you guys how i edit my short form content whether that be content for my tiktok my instagram reels or my youtube shorts so i previously filmed a video where i went through my equipment my camera settings filming and editing but this video is to go a little bit more in depth into my editing since i'm still getting questions so i'm hoping to like focus on just editing in this video and hopefully by the end of it you will know how to edit your own short form content so you can go ahead and post on social media so when it comes down to my editing i do like to edit on my iphone even sometimes i tend to edit on my laptop as well if that's something separately that you'd like to see then please let me know and then i can create that video but today i'm going to be focusing on how i edit on my iphone so before i go into editing my content i like to think about the form of content that i'm going to edit first so meaning am i going to be doing a voiceover video or am I going to be doing a video with just music on top? Making this decision beforehand kind of allow me to know how much of the footage I'm going to be cutting out and how quick I'm going to be able to edit this video as well. If I'm going to be doing a voiceover video, then it's likely that it's going to be taking me a little bit longer to edit. Well, if I'm going to be doing videos with music on top, then it's going to probably take me less than five minutes or so to edit. So whenever I film, I like to have my content in albums. This allows me to just find my footage a little bit quicker. So if I'm filming like a morning routine, whatever the video might be, or if I'm just vlogging my day, then I like to just put that in album. So it's a little bit easier for me to find. Otherwise, with filming so much content, sometimes I'm like batch creating and everything can literally be all over the place. So it's really easier for me to put everything into an album. So if I'm going to edit like the daily vlog or part of the morning, then it's easy for me to find so that's a little tip that you guys can do let's go into my editing so i like to use InShot to edit for my short form content you can also use CapCut if that's a preference for you but today i'm going to be showing you how i use InShot. okay so i've opened the InShot app and this is basically what it looks like so i'm going to go ahead and select video new and i'm going to select recent because i do store my videos in a folder like i mentioned to you guys i'm just going to go down to the folder of the video that i'd like to edit which is this one here and i'm just going to basically select all the files that i'm going to be editing so once you've selected all the footage that you need this is basically what you will see within the InShot app the main tool that I like to use on InShot when I'm editing is a music tool. I do like to use this one for recording. If I'm doing like voiceover, then I'll use that tool. An easy way to do this as well, when you're doing voiceovers, I normally just say the voiceovers from my head, but if you're doing it in the voice memo app where you're gonna transfer it to your laptop and then you're gonna edit in your laptop, if it is that you want to write a script then that's easier too it means that it just takes you a little less time and a little bit less take of you like repeating the same thing trying to get the right thing so if you just do a script then you can basically just read it but i like to do my voiceovers natural as they come because it's just a little bit more you know authentic it doesn't sound as planned so i'm just watching the videos and just doing the voiceovers from there if i'm doing text then i'll use this one the only time i use text is if i'm doing a video when i'm like listing stuff so if i'm doing like a what i eat in a day and i'm writing like breakfast lunch that sort of stuff i just use text within the app only because it's easier for me to repurpose those content on different social platforms. Any other texts I tend to use within the social platform themselves. And then I will use the pip tool. Like if I'm adding any form of like overlays on top of the video, then I'll use that one. I'll use slate delete volume to up and down the volume. And basically that's all I use within the InShot app. So how I like to edit is I like to start where I'm doing something. So I like to take people on a journey within my video. So for example, this video title is even after work. So you can see that I come in and then I'll start clipping there of me closing the door and I'll start here again of me putting my key. Again, like if I'm doing voiceover videos, this would probably be long. For example, I would probably start cutting around here. Um, for my voiceover videos just because when I'm speaking over them I'm gonna need a bit more length within the video. So that is how I do it And then I'm just gonna go ahead and clip there And then me putting my bag down I'm gonna do that And then I'm gonna start when I'm taking off my shoes It's pretty much me doing 
something each time so me taking off my jacket i start to clip when i'm actually trying to when i'm taking the jacket off when it's halfway off and when i'm pretty much pulling it off and then i start clipping there and I'm going to go when I go ahead to take the bag up and when I walk a little bit there to show that I'm kind of putting the bag down. So that's basically one clip done edit and then I'll just delete the other empty bits because it's just me walking to like another direction and stuff. And then I'm going to show myself walking to the kitchen so I'm going to start there. And I'm going to start when I'm walk when I'm further up. Clip. And I'm actually like taking up the dishes. So I'm just going to take some up just so I'm not like. Yep. So take some up. So I'll start from there. Clip. And then show when I open the cupboard. And when I'm putting the dish down, and that's basically really how I like to edit. I have about 24 minutes of this to do. And you can see my camera start shifting down. I actually don't want that footage. After I realized, you can see here, I realized that I was like, you goddamn thing. So I'm going to go back and try and set the camera properly. Because I was using my other tripod, so that was annoying. So I'm going to just put the plate there the cup i should say clip and of me closing the cupboard done when you're doing videos you can ask yourself what is it that you want to show within the video what do you want what type of story you want it to tell so because i've already put up like the dishes and stuff i don't really need to show myself putting the forest because you kind of like get the point type of thing so here I was actually like cleaning up a little bit more, but I don't really want that in the video. So I'm just going to delete that footage. And what I'm going to probably start doing is just me making my protein shake. So when I take the first scoop out. And then I do a second scoop. So instead of it showing me going in taking out i'm just gonna do when the scoop is actually out so you'll see one two three boom um i'll show you guys and then do the other scoop and then i'll start from there and i'll show you what that looks like so let's rewatch that should you rewatch the whole thing yeah let's rewatch the whole thing oops let me actually turn the volume down so to turn the volume down I'm going to just bring it all the way down like that and then select this double tick. This double tick is basically for you to apply all. So I'm just going to select that and select apply all and then we're going to rewatch the whole thing. So, so far this is basically what the footage looks like. So you see three scoops, one, two, three of me putting the protein shake in which is great so that is basically how i edit so i clip each part of where i'm actually doing something just to kind of like grab people's attention to kind of keep you watching that sort of stuff if i'm doing say talking video i'll pretty much just go through clips and listen to everything that i'm saying clip out things where i'm repeating myself i do find that i repeat myself a lot if i'm like stuttering and then i'll cut cut those out so normally the length of the video so my voiceovers or around say the one minute mark sometimes a little bit more so it's likely that the editing process is going to be a little bit longer for when you're editing a voiceover video because you still want it to be entertaining even though the video is going to be long so for the voiceover video you find that the length of each of the clips is a little bit longer than the ones that you have for the music for example, here, I will probably cut it up until here just so I have more time to do the actual voiceover because I find that if I do a voiceover for this clip, which is like a couple seconds long and it's, and it's going so quick, it's hard for me to like say what I'm actually doing within the video. So I'm going to need it to be a little bit longer, a little bit slower pace. I'm going to go ahead and finish editing this whole 20 minutes worth of footage and then I'll show you guys what the end product is looking like. I just want to point out as well that everyone have like their own style of editing. 
this is basically how I like to edit what works for me what the quickest way for me to edit so what I'll definitely say is try and practice different footage see what really works for you and then you edit that way just know that the main things that you really need to know how to do is basically to split things and cut it out and delete it whatever you don't need and only use whatever footage you need type of thing so the only way for you to really become good at doing something is to like practice doing it so i'm done editing now this whole footage is a little bit longer than i'd like it to be it's about one minute and two seconds thing so i'm gonna just replay this for you guys just so you can see how the whole editing looks after me finishing so you can see i'd literally take you on a whole journey of me after work so we need to watch it if you got it, it ain't a question Oh, it ain't no one for guessing No more than emotionally invested Showing you all my imperfections oh. If I let you, don't take me for granted looks like i think it's pretty good so i'm gonna go in now since i'm finished editing this video and i'm gonna save it so to save i'm pretty much gonna go to the icon there select that and i like to save my video in 180p because that is why it's compatible to instagram it doesn't really compress my file when i save it this way and i'm gonna do 60 frames per second and I'm just gonna save that Select save. Okay, so that's pretty much save. Once you save it, then you start seeing ads. Then you can just come out of InShot basically. And then the video should be within your photo app, ready for you to pretty much just upload on whichever social media platform that you want to upload on. So that is basically how I like to edit my videos. It's really easy for me. Like I said, I prefer to do it on my iPhone because it's a bit more convenient. Sometimes I can do it on the train if I'm on the go or from the train station. If I'm waiting somewhere, I can just go in and edit. So I like to do it on my iPhone. But if it is that you'd like to see how I edit on the laptop, then let me know. I can create that video for you. But I hope you find this video helpful. I hope I went into a little bit more details as to how I edit my short form content. If you haven't yet seen the video I filmed showing you my camera settings and equipments that I use to film, then you can go ahead and check it out in the cards. I'll ensure to leave that one linked below for you guys as well. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. Same for requests as well. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.